All right. Yeah. As you can see here, we already done building the project, run the project. Uh, we install successfully finished without an error and you see the, your applications on the screens. Okay. So you, that's how you work with emulator. Now, how about we run the project using the real device? Okay. So what is the difference between emulator versus device? Up until this day, emulator still can't match the real device performance. Of course, you just emulate something, right? So it must be under performance compared to the real device. Especially when you want to test your games, yeah, Android games, 3D games. It's better you use the real device rather than the emulator, okay? If you don't want or can't use emulator, yeah, you can use your own tablet or smartphone. Emulator is useful to test application on different system configuration like screen size, Android version, different RAM, and so on. And if you want to see the actual performance, you use the real device. Um, unfortunately, when uh, you work the, with the real device, you have to do some preparations such as you need to connect your phone to the computer using data cable, the official data cable, and you have to turn on the USB debugging option, which is it's hiding. Yeah, as default is is disabled as the default, and then you have to find out how to to turn on, turn that option on, find the developer option in setting, but the settings in different devices uh somehow different okay so it's hidden and need to be turned on first so you have to check out check the, the, to the internet how to turn on the usb debugging and on your on your phone brand yeah so to activate the developer options you can uh, visit this link okay and it shows you to how to turn on the developer option on different devices different brand and preparation on the pc you have to install the usb driver according to the smartphone brand download the usb driver here this is the link you can download for the driver for your android manufacturer android brand okay and then the last step is connecting your device and pc using data cable and then you see something like this it asks you to allow usb debugging like this simply tap ok and then you can use your smartphone to debug or run your address to your project and now when you run the project it will show you several different options like if you want to run on on your samsung here or you are using you want to use emulator so when you click your real devices and and the Android Studio will install the application in your real device. Okay, so the troubleshooting, thing, yeah, somehow when I run it, uh, no, no device shows on screen like this. I, I can't see my phone here. If you somehow en encounter that problem, you can follow this, these uh, steps, yeah. So you need to open the command prompt, navigate to Android SDK installation pad like this. I don't know where you put the Android SDK, but uh, please search for this folder and then type ADP services. If device status is device, it means your device is connected. And if device status is offline, please check your connection. Means use the official data cable or change the USB port and try to deactivate and activate USB debugging again. If device status is unauthorized, means that your PC is not allowed to access device. So you need to revoke the debugging authorizations and repeat the steps again. And don't, don't forget to press OK button when the option allow debugging options uh, comes on screen. Okay. Now we are, I'm going to show you, uh, explain to you the, the Android project structure. Okay, so manifest, yeah, on the top one, you will see what is this. Manifest has essential information about the applications, like uh, the system information, the, the several things. Let me show you that manifest first.
files yeah it has it's 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 using xml format this one the both on the manifest and the follow one as it has applications and it contain one activity the main logic of your application eventually you can end up with more than one activity don't worry about that okay so this is uh information about the icon the launcher icon and the label here and so on and so on the theme you use and so on there's several information on manifest this is very important okay java yeah the folder java consists of Kotlin or java source code this is uh, where you work mostly most most of the time you work in this folder yeah so here an activity here you see here you spend your most time in java or Kotlin file okay the resource or drawable um i mean we have resource file and it has several folder the first file the first folder is drawables it contain every graphic image that you can use or asset yeah so in this case there's only one or two files which is uh, the icon the, the application icons yeah and you have layout it will store every layout or every form design in this folder and then you can have one more uh, this is where you you design your applications map map when you this this is where you store the the launcher icon and value is anything else to store the the uh, values yeah the values like the colors that you use in your applications the strings label and also the other stuff like styles uh, on the theme and so on and so on basically it to make sure your application consistent yeah consistently aesthetically uh, displayed rendered on screen so every button every ok button must have red color for example every ok label must have okay yeah so it's consistent throughout your application that's uh, the the stuff the the value stuff uh in later time we are going to uh tweak more about gradle but i will show you after after we working with the studio and you need to know that the folder here is not the actual folder if you switch here into the project i guess yeah in the project here as you can see here this is the actual folder structures of your android uh, project so as you can see here i have to venture deep on this folder and subfolder to find out where my activity looks or uh, where to where my activity reside in this folder so i have to venture deeper so this is the actual folder and it's quite complicated for developer to work with so unfortunately uh, fortunately android studio have different views yeah for folder placement here so it's it modify the actual project projects project and make it simpler to us to to navigate to different files so this is not actual folder but it helps you to navigate files uh, pretty fast okay that's all for android introductions um next next session we are going to work with real applications